The All Taste No Waste Challenge has wrapped up. Kids who logged enough climate-friendly habits were unable to lock a sustainable cookbook from Maple Leaf Foods. And Chef Sam, the queen of cuisine at Maple Leaf Foods, is going to tell us more about it. Because now that the kids have unlocked the cookbook, it's available for all of us online. Yes, so Annette, first of all, thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to have this platform to share that over 9,000 Earth Rangers came together earlier this year to participate in the All Taste No Waste Challenge. They logged over 119,000 sustainable habits um, to unlock my cookbook. And some of these things included composting, only putting as much as you think you're gonna eat on your plate, because we, we, we eat with our does. eyes first, um, up cooking leftover recipes, and a host of other things. So as a result, these amazing eco-conscious kids, they saved 19,000 plates from the landfill, they upcooked 15,000 recipes using leftovers only, and to put that into perspective, it's like serving one person lunch for the next 53 years. That's pretty great. These kids are my hero. Yeah. And you brought your leftovers here. I did. <laughs> so as a result for these kids achieving this amazing milestone, uh, they were able to unlock my cookbook. And I designed and curated and developed a cookbook that is solely using leftovers and things that you have in your fridge. So we're going to show you one of those things right now. And I'm okay. going to put you to work if okay. that's OK. I'm ready so, to go to work. So I have to go to the fridge real quick. I'm going to take <laughs> out. So. This is a perfect example of up cooking. Earlier in the week, I made a chicken sandwich using the grill because it was great weather on the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, I had some bacon, so I made these great chicken bacon sandwiches. I had a couple of chicken breasts left over. I had some bacon. Sometimes leftovers can be a little bit frustrating because you don't have enough to make a full meal, yes. yet it looks like you have too little to do anything else with. Well, here's an example on how to solve that problem. So if you want to put a little bit of lettuce okay. in that bowl um, that I had earlier from the week, so just a little bit of kale and romaine. And it doesn't matter what kind of greens you have in here, No, right? and this is the thing. For texture, for color, okay. you can mix the so last tidbits of everything. Good enough to mix things up. Yeah. Okay. I had one and a half chicken breasts. Look how much that yields. That's, so you so, just kind of shredded it? Yes. So shredded that with the back of a fork. Um, from a dessert that I had made earlier in the week, I have these beautiful fresh blueberries. Those can go in next. Okay. And if you notice, Annette, I'm using these clear glass Tupperware containers. These are amazing. Not only um, are they great visually, because if you have leftovers, it you gives can you see. Yes. yes. Right? Because how often are we guilty of putting things in? Tupperwares that aren't clear, and then you don't know what you have left over. Or like yogurt containers. Or yes. What's in there? So Ooh. this forces you to do that. So this recipe is called actually use anything you've got pasta salad. Okay. And that literally means use everything that you've got. So today I've got couscous. That was my side dish from my sandwich the other night. That's going to bulk up uh, the carbohydrate in the salad. You've got protein. You've got fruit. Um, okay. It's not getting any more better or seasonal than this. OK, we've got a minute All left. All right, feta cheese. OK, dumping that in there. A it little also, bit of red pepper for color. These also make it really easy I know. to pour in. <laughs> uh, some almonds. Oh. And of course, some bacon. And when you're okay. choosing your protein, um, like for Maple Leaf products, always look for the Carbon Zero logo on these packages. Know that you are making the most responsible choice that you can when feeding your family. I have this jar. Okay. When you get to the end of your mustard, do not throw this out. This is the base for all yeah. your salad dressings for the summer. I put in, if I could open it, <laughs> I put in there a little bit of olive oil, apple cider vinegar. You can use maple syrup or honey, and you've got the best salad dressing for summer. I promise you will make this okay. all the time. And the recipe and the cookbook, we're going to get uh, all the links on our website, yep. chch.com slash morning live. Chef Sam, thanks so much. You're very Here welcome. I'm going to end the show. Make them a salad. My leftover salad. Make them. <laughs>